Clive, good to have a good news story in light of what I just said over the market commentary. It's read across the board today. Uh, tell us about this deal. What does it mean for Barlow World? Look, it's a transformational deal for our equipment uh, mining services business in that uh, it really expands the range of mining equipment solutions we will be able to provide to our customers across southern Africa, in particular in, in surface mining with, with large drag lines and rope shovels and hydraulic shovels. And then also it gives us a suite of products uh, to, to provide uh, services in underground uh, mining. Just looking at the revenues for Bucharest distribution in Southern Africa, you're looking at the 2013 financial year estimated uh, between 335 and 385 million deal uh, million dollars rather. So what in terms of the material impact that it's going to have on Barlow World going forward, uh, how's that going to impact your bottom line? Well, uh, I mean, in terms of revenue, uh, our group is, is around a uh, $60 billion, uh, revenue company, so it's about 6% of, of, of our total revenues, uh, or, or about $3 billion, uh, rand. Um, so it's, but it's a very significant increase to our mining equipment revenues. Uh, we've also given the market um, some guidance that uh, we expect in the, in the first financial year uh, that the business is managed by us that it will be accretive uh, to our earnings and headline earnings per share. As you said, it does have a material impact going forward. So, so tell us about uh, some of the mining activity that we're seeing right now across the continent, because uh, looking at the numbers that came through from you, it's really the mining sector that has overall been uh, buoying Barlow World's earnings going forward. Where, where are you seeing the most activity centered around when, you, when it comes to Southern Africa right now? You know, probably the biggest area of growth for us at the moment is uh, Mozambique, where we're seeing the development of the Motis coal fields and some big uh, pr uh, projects uh, being undertaken there by Valle, the Brazilian miner, and, and Rio Tinto. Uh, but we've also seen a lot of activity on the Zambian uh, copper belt and, and across the border in, in this uh, Katanga province of the DRC. And then also in, in Botswana and, and Namibia. So it, it's, a, it's across the board uh, and across a, a range of, of commodity types. Now going back to Bucharest, you're also in uh, discussions to, to acquire possible, uh, poss possible uh, distribution uh, agreements in Russia and Iberia. And of course, Russia stands out as one of the growth regions for you. But Iberia is an area right now that is under a lot of pressure. We've seen the escalating crisis in the Spanish banking system. So walk us through uh, those two territories and, and the likely Heard of that deal coming through from B uh, Bucharest uh, right now? Yes, look, I, I, I think uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, we will uh, conclude tr transactions with Caterpillar in respect of the acquisition of the Basiris distribution businesses in, in Iberia and, and Russia. But to put it in context, it's a, it's a fairly small uh, transaction uh, when it comes to Iberia because there there's not a lot of mining activity. It's mainly a construction market for us. But in Russia, the opportunity is quite significant. Uh, the major uh, Basiris facility is, is located in a place called Novokuznetsk, which is in the heart of the Kuzbass coal region, and uh, there's a big uh, opportunity in surface and underground coal mining for Basiris products uh, in that territory. Clive, helping all of us, you know, and now we know how to pronounce that name, Basiris. So just give us your view on uh, Spain right now, and uh, you said you are committed to staying in the Iberian region overall, and uh, you're committed to that region, but it's all about uh, improving efficiencies and managing the downturn on that end. Is there any point in time that you're going to rethink that? No, look, I, I think we, we accept in, in, in Spain at the moment things are, are very tough, obviously, with the the European uh, debt crisis and, and particularly the, the, the stress on the sp uh, Spanish banking system. And that obviously has a knock-on effect on the domestic economy and the government's ability to fund these uh, infrastructure projects that, that proved very lucrative for us uh, for, an, for a long period of time. But I think we, we, we understand that construction, much like mining, is cyclical at the moment. Uh, Spain has had a couple of, of tough years, probably a, another uh, year or two um, of difficulty ahead of us. But uh, at some point in time, the cycle will turn. When it does, we're well positioned for it. We're the market leader in Spain with our Caterpillar uh, equipment portfolio. And, and in time, we will make uh, good money there again.